Welcome to our pocket card set tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna teach you two different techniques on creating pocket cards, and I can't wait to get started. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters, and let me just show you what we're creating. Our volume seven cards this month are featuring these fun pockets. So you can see we've got two different styles, one that just pops up with a fun little image there. And then on the back side, you've got areas for writing your sentiments. And the second style features this fun little flip flop that we cut out. This is great because you could use this with um, this idea with any shape that's gonna coordinate with any paper collection or theme you're using. And then a great fussy cut image on the inside. So in the video tutorial, I'll teach you how to create these three gorgeous cards, and then I'll walk you through what you're gonna need to create the other three for a total of six. Now, all six of these cards have been created for us this month by Nancy Wethington, and Nancy certainly doesn't disappoint this month. You're gonna need to go pick up our volume seven card kit so you can get started with us. Let's just take a peek at what you're gonna get in your volume seven card kit. You're gonna get these blue trim you get nine total yards there these gorgeous metal brads 10 pieces our new craft square card bases these come with six card bases and six envelopes the sun-kissed eight by eight papers you're gonna get three of each of those for a total of 24 double-sided sheets the project sheet and of course a bag to store all your goodies in you can do that by hopping on over to our website, g45papers.com, or heading down to your local Graphic 45 retailer. Of course, if you just wanna learn these techniques, you can't always play along with us at home with what you've got in your stash. So grab your supplies and let's start creating some card magic. So to get started, you're going to want to have the project sheet that includes this template. So you can get the project sheet by picking up our kit on our website, g45papers.com or at your local G45 retailer. Or you can just head on over to our website, g45papers.com, go up to that inspiration tab, down to project sheets, and that's where you'll find this project sheet, including this template and so many others. Card one. So for all six of these cards today, we're gonna to be taking our craft square card bases that are five and a quarter by five and a quarter. These aren't scored, so you can personalize them and make your pop-up cards, make your gate folds, but today we're just scoring those right down the center at five and a quarter. We'll do that with all six of these cards. Of course, if you were just creating along with us uh, with what you've got at home, that's gonna be a 10 and a half piece um, of cardstock by five and a quarter. And then of course you'll just score at five and a quarter. And then go ahead and crease all those on those score lines. Next, we're gonna take our ruler and a pen or pencil, and we're gonna mark on the inside bottom base. So the inside right of our card at three quarters of an inch all the way around. Once you have your markings like this, we're just going to cut on the uh, left and right side. So you can take an X-Acto knife or you can take a uh, paper trimmer like this one here and just cut on our markings like so and you're not going to see on the inside of our card so it's not a worry at all that i have some pen marking in here this is going to be a fun card that's going to be sealed shut that only the top comes out and then we'll put a backing here or you'll be able to write a sentiment we're going to cut our sand dollars paper to be five inches by five inches and using your favorite adhesive, go ahead and adhere that on top of our card base. And I always like to have a damp paper towel or cloth to clean up my excess uh, art glitter glue adhesive. 
Step three, we've got our under the C paper, and this has been cut to three or four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then we're gonna round all four of those corners. Add some foam adhesive to the back. Adhere it right on top in the center. Using that blue trim that came in your kit, we're just gonna create a large bow using that chevron ribbon. Once you have it how you like it, you can go ahead and trim those edges. Now we're gonna do a bit of decorating. So from our signature page, we fussy cut out this sea turtle. And from Kids at Play, we've cut out Fun in the Sun. And then I've taken my crocodile and on my smallest hole, I've punched a hole in the tag hole and then one next to that. And then I'm gonna take my brads with my two flanges. So since these don't tee together, they're more in a U shape. That's where I like to punch the two holes. Uh, slide that in how I want it to go. And then I'm just going to push both of those little U-shaped arms just to the same direction. So let's go and adhere things down. I used a liquid adhesive to adhere that bow. And then I'm using some foam adhesive to adhere this tag, which is also nice because it's gonna go over the top of our brad backing. So it'll keep everything in place how we want it to go. This is just gonna dangle down like it's a cute little gift. And this could go anywhere you want it to go on the front. Super cute. All right, now we're gonna work on our sliding mechanism. So I'm just taking off one of the info strips from our eight by eight papers. So we've got this piece and I'm just gonna slide it right through my little card back here. And then go ahead and fold that so it's nice and parallel with each other. And I don't want it to be too tight because I want this to slide up and down, but I definitely don't want it to be loose either. So I just have about, I'd say about a half of an inch of gap that is just going to glue together, making sure that this, once it dries, will slide up and down. Now while that dries, we have our splish splash paper and we've cut this to be three quarters of an inch squared and I want my stripes to go vertically. And then I'm going to use my corner rounder again on my top two corners to round those cuties out. So this is what's gonna slide out the top of our card. And next I'm gonna take about three inches of that navy satin ribbon and uh, Nancy has you adhere half of it on one side and the other half on the other side with a nice liquid heavy duty adhesive. However, I'm gonna try stapling this so it's nice and stable. So I've just got a home office stapler. So I've just used my stapler and stapled that down. And then I'm also going to reinforce it with some liquid adhesive on the back side. like so. And now to decorate this, I've taken a You Are My Sunshine border from Kids at Play. And this is just gonna go right here. And this beautiful girl is just gonna go right next to it. And this is from our signature page got some more fussy cut images also from the signature page and just gonna decorate this up however you like it but how cute is this so next we want to add our adhesive to our moving element here and make sure we're nice and flush on the bottom and we wanna make sure that's just gonna slide up and down without any troubles. And once we know that will work, then we can go ahead and adhere our inside shut. 
So just adhering the right and bottom together. This will slide down underneath and then you'll be able to pull with that ribbon to expose our fun little sentiment and imagery. You'll be able to add a photo on the back if you'd like, but we're also going to take this piece of splish splash that has been cut to be four inches square and we're going to adhere this on the back. So I wanna make sure I'm not adding adhesive um, where this is going to stop that. So I'm just gonna put it on the outsides. So there you have it, our fun in the sun polar card with so many great places to add your special touches and then use up those leftover bits and pieces to decorate your envelopes. Card two. So the first thing we want to do for card two is we want to cut out our sail away paper to five inches by five inches and then adhere this onto our front with the striped side horizontal. We're going to fussy cut out this bottom left corner of our sun kissed paper and this is going to act as our pocket. So we want this to be about uh, just under five inches um, height and just under five inches on the width side as well. So I'm just gonna do a bit more fussy cutting down here. See how this is fitting onto our card front. So it's going off a little bit, which it's not great. So I'm gonna trim a little bit off of my left hand side. I'll cut off about a quarter of an inch off that left hand side. And there you go. So now we will adhere this in an L shape. Or I guess a slight U shape. Like so. And this is what our flip flop is just going to slide into. And then of course, if you wanna throw in some gift cards, tickets, money, photos, anything else gift wise, you can stuff that in there too. Project sheet, we are just gonna cut out this cute little flip flop template. Under the seat, we've cut this piece to be four inches by five inches. And then we're gonna go ahead and score this right down the center at two. And crease. I'm just gonna clip this in place. So I want, um, part of my right hand edge to go off the edge of this folded over paper. And then I'm going to just slowly cut around my little flip flop template. I hope you are loving summer out there. Do you have any great beach photos so far or any good summer vacation 4th of July pics? Now's the time to print those out and start creating with those. So I've cut out my template and unfold. And you can see we've got a cute little piece that's going to open up and we can write in a cute, fun sentiment there. And then I'm going to take my crocodile and just punch out my holes where they are marked. And that's gonna be where our ribbon goes in. Like so. And of course, it wouldn't be a tutorial um, if I didn't make a mistake. And of course, you were just supposed to do the holes through one of those sides. So, but it'll be fine, not to worry. And then we're gonna take our ribbon and we are going to thread this through. 10 inches of ribbon here, and I'm just gonna fold this in half. I'm going to put my folded edge through my hole we just cut in like the toe area of our flip flop, like this. So I just put my 
ripping it through there and then I just don't want to pull it all the way out and then next I'm going to take these two pieces and tuck them in here like so and then loosen up our straps just a little bit to give it some lifelike realism and now we can just trim off the excess just leaving enough that it's not gonna pull out and then from your brad pack i picked one of these ornate brads and this is just gonna go right where our toe ribbon goes like so and then we're going to trace this out one more time making sure we've got the right side that this is just going to go right over this backing so i'm going to add my adhesive here some adhesive to these ribbon ends to kind of get them to lay flat and then just adhere together and there you have it we have our super cute little flip flop here and we've hidden our insides beautifully and then this is just going to slide right into our sun kissed pocket for the inside we're going to use up some of our borders and fussy cut out this beautiful girl and we've cut out this the sun sand and sea border to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter and just adhere this down towards the bottom fussy cut out this gorgeous image from our signature page and she's gonna go right here on the right so card number two should be looking like this and then with those leftovers here's how you can use those up card three So to get started, I've cut my inside right panel to be three quarters of an inch from the right top and bottom, that one slit, and then again, three quarters of an inch from the left and bottom and top slit all the way down, which is going to create our mechanism. So we're gonna fold that shut, and then we're gonna take under the C, this has been cut to five by five inches, and adhere it on the front. We're gonna cut splish splash to be four and three quarters by four and three quarters, and then round all four corners and then pop this up right on top of our under the C. And then we're gonna take sail away that we cut to three and three quarters by three and three quarters. We did the same treatment here where we rounded those corners and popped it up. We're taking this building sand castles and memories border from our kids at play paper we're going to adhere this on the top just cutting to fit and then this boat's been fussy cut from our signature page and it's been popped up and we'll go just a little bit over the edge and then we've got our set sail tag and before we go too much further we're also going to take our light blue linen trim and then staple this on the front. Add a tiny bit of glue to make sure it just stays where I want it to stay. There you go, so cute. Our adhesive backing and then we'll add our little tag to our front. inside mechanism we've cut out our under the C to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter and then we fussy cut this gem out from our signature page it's also about three and a quarter width and I'm just gonna trim this to fit voila and then I've got some more of that dark blue navy satin ribbon we're going to adhere these two together and then adhere them with just a dot of glue at the top here. Then we're going to use that handy dandy home stapler again and just staple this down. And with another scrap piece of paper, this time it's been cut to about a half of an inch by eight and a half inches. You can use the info strip like we did last time or just whatever you've got left over. 
from your stash that you're using. Same principles apply. You want to make sure it's not too tight, not too loose. It's going to slide up and down beautifully. And then go ahead and marry those two ends together. And I want to make sure this dries and it's going to slide up and down beautifully before I add on my next piece. Now that it's dried, I've added my adhesive and this is just going to go flush on my little sliding mechanism. Test that out. Beautiful. And now that we know that this works, we can add our adhesive to the bottom and right. Just use your fingers to seal this up while it dries. So we're gonna take our sail away paper that's been cut to a four and a quarter by four and a quarter and adhere this on the back. Making sure everything is still moving beautifully. You could add a nice little photo or gift card back here and really surprise and delight whoever will be receiving these gorgeous cards. So here is our card number three. And then this is how you can decorate up that envelope with your leftovers. And here's what you can create with the rest of your card kit. To create this card, we have a turtle time uh, base in the background and then we've got floating florals and our sand dollars paper here this is a little uh, fussy cutting from our signature page and a turtle time flip-flop so cute and then on the inside we've got more of those sand dollars but this time fussy cut out with a border and a little cut apart from kids at play for this beauty, you can see we've got turtle time here and here. We've got our striped floating florals going on here as well. A cut apart from kids at play. Some more uh, fussy cuts from our signature page and more cut aparts from kids at play. The reverse side, we've got our sand dollars and some gorgeous ribbon and brads. For our last card, we've got sail away in the background. We've got the B-side of Sunkissed here and our Splish Splash stripes as well. You can see that Nancy's done a little bit of distressing there, which we love. It's such a great signature graphic 45 move. And then a cut apart from Kids at Play, a Splish Splash flip flop. And then on the inside, we have another little tattered pocket and another cut apart. So thank you so much for joining us for this fantastic Sunkissed card making video. We'd love to know what was your favorite technique or card style. Be sure to let us know in the comments. And then if you created along with us, share your cards with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag. If you're looking for more great tutorials like this one be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and then hit that notification so you know every time we post a fabulous video like this one we thank you for joining us and as always happy paper crafting